Hello all, welcome to Wise Beacon. There are some people around the world who might look a little weird and strange when we compare them with us. One such person was Stephen Bibrowski. He was suffering from a rare condition called hypertrichosis, because of which he had a very strange appearance. Okay, who is this Stephen Bibrowski and what is this condition called hypertrichosis? Let's get into the video to find out about the same. Stephen Bibrowski, or better known as Lionel the Lion Faced Man, was a famous sideshow performer. He was a small man who had his whole body covered with long hair that gave him the appearance of a lion. Only the palms of his hands and the soles of his feet were the exceptions which was not covered by hair. This was due to a rare condition called hypertrichosis. Okay, who is this Stephen and what is his background? Stephen Bibrowski was born in Poland in the year 1890 with 2.5 cm air covering his body. Although not much is known about this man, there is a reference to him in the book called Carney Folk by freak show researcher Frankie Hornberger. His mother was shocked to see her son's appearance at birth. She said that she watched his father attacked by a lion and even she believed caused this Stephen's strange condition. The mother did not want to raise such an ugly baby. Instead, she sold him at the age of four to a German showman named Sid Meier. Sid Meier saw great potential in Stephen, who called him Lion-Faced Boy and exhibited him all over Europe for money. Okay, before going in detail to know more about him, what is this rare condition hypertrichosis and why was Stephen affected because of it? Often called as Werewolf Syndrome, Hypertrichosis causes excessive air growth on the body for both males and females. However, the cause of hypertrichosis is unknown. It is said that this rare disorder can be acquired from someone who have this disease already or maybe hereditary as well. But why Stephen Bibrowski had this condition is still unknown. Okay, coming back to Stephen's life. In 1901, Sid Meier took Bibrowski to the United States. There, the owner of the Barnum and Bailey Circus Company met him and bought him. They showed him the side show of the circus, trained him in acrobatic techniques and taught him to interact with the audience. For the next 19 years, Stephen Bibrowski performed with the Barnum and Bailey Circus. He finally settled in the United States in 1920 and performed at a side show on Coney Island, New York. Stephen Bibrowski returned to Germany and reportedly died of a heart attack in 1932. According to a friend of Bibrowski, he said that Bibrowski had a dream of becoming a dentist but chose slideshow business as he thought it was more profitable. The friend of, Bi the friend of Bibrowski said that he was intelligent and elsewhere the hair grew up to 4 inches long. Only his hands and feet had no hair. Despite all this, he was an ordinary man who was loved by his closed ones. He never suffered when his own mother abandoned him and even when people had to take advantage of his condition. Instead, he was willing to love his weakness and make others laugh. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Please give likes, comments and dislikes and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you.